Now, CBS3 Springfield Sports. The Minutemen have one game left this season, but this afternoon was the final game at McGurk. UMass hosting James Madison with lots on the line. And the weather didn't help out either team. Rain coming down throughout the entire game, and it showed early on as UMass just couldn't hang on to the ball. Three turnovers in the first 13 minutes of the game, including this Tony Nelson fumble, his second of the afternoon. JMU picks it up and returns it for a touchdown. UMass trailing 10-0 after one quarter. So how would they regroup? Well, pretty well, actually. First play of the second, Jonathan Hernandez takes the handoff and scampers 16 yards into the end zone. The Minutemen right back in it, 10-7. Later in the quarter, about four minutes left, JMU driving. Justin Thorpe fakes one way and takes off in the other direction. It fools out the UMass D. Thorpe puts another six on the board, UMass trailing 17-7. In the third, JMU ball in UMass territory, but check out the play from Tyler Holmes forcing the fumble. Eric Dixon falls on it for the Minutemen. UMass takes over. A six-minute drive, taking up 12 plays. Tony Nelson finishes it off with the six-yard score, and UMass again trailing by just three points. Nelson running for 117 yards. The Minutemen have more chances in the fourth. With about four and a half minutes left, UMass a big third and six. Kyle Havens to Jeremy Horn for just three yards. UMass forced to punt, and then time running out. The Minutemen get one last chance, just over a minute left. UMass fourth and seven in the middle of the field. Kyle Havens looking for Horn, but he's out of bounds. JMU takes over and runs the clock out. UMass falls at home 17-14 the final. Certainly at this point that would end any, I think, thought of a playoff yeah. possibility. You know, right now we're looking to send our seniors out on a great note with a winning season. They've had a great career here, and, and that's going to be our job going down to Hofstra is getting our seniors a win so they can go out as winners. Obviously all seniors want to go out with a win, you know, on their last home field college career. But, I mean, obviously I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed a little bit myself, too, with the two fumbles. You know, that definitely hurt the team. But uh, we definitely all gave great, great effort, and uh, we just fell short. UMass plays at Hofstra next Saturday in the season finale. All right, high school ball. West Springfield traveling to Soggy Plum Field to take on the Putnam Beavers. We pick up action in the first. Putnam having problems on special teams. The snap goes high and over the punter's head. Kicks it out of bounds. That's called a safety. 2-0 West Side. On the ensuing possession, Terry Allen, the quick pass to Danny Grisco. He's not going to be stopped. That puts West Side up 10-zip. And then more from Allen later on. A QB keeper and... Westside would win this in dominant fashion, 36 to 6, the final. Uh, I'm real proud of the kids. They did a great job. Uh, made a lot of adjustments during the game. A lot of halftime. Uh, we had some people banged up, and you know we had some kids step up, and it was a whole team effort today. I'm real proud of them. We have a good group of kids. They work hard. They're dedicated, and you know I'm real proud of them. Could it get any better for the UMass hockey team? The Minutemen just one blemish on the season and knocking off their rivals UNH last night. A rematch going on tonight in the Mullins Center. UMass down 1-0 in the second, but here comes Will Ortiz. His third goal of the season, a wrister from the hash marks. He ties the game up at 1. Then 44 seconds later, UNH coming to play. Peter LeBlanc moving in on Paul Dayton. Check out the nice moves in front of the net. He slips it in. UNH up 2-1. Up 3-1 to one now in the second. Miniman trying to mount a comeback. Martin Nole with his third score of the season. That cuts the deficit to one. But UNH adds another goal in the third and wins it 4-2, to two, splitting the weekend series. Pretty crazy game in Pittsburgh. The Bruins in town. Game tied up at four in the third. Bees on a power play. Marco Sturm from way out. And this one's going to be good. The Bruins take the 5-4 to four lead. But time running down. Pens with one last Hail Mary, so to speak. Bill Guerin, the slapper, and it gets by Tim Thomas. Four-tenths of a second left in the game. Wow. So we go to overtime. Thomas is trying to leave it for a teammate here, but the Pens take advantage. Pascal Dupuy, the quickie, and just like that, the Bruins go down to the defending champs, 6-5 in OT. And the Celtics in Indiana, that means Larry Legend in the house. Pacers winning in the fourth quarter thanks to this man, Danny Granger, one of the best players in the league. 29 points tonight, including six three-pointers. Celtics down by 11 with about a minute left. Ray Allen leading the team with 25 points tonight. Just not right there. The ball gets stuck, and the Celtics lose their second straight game. Not used to seeing that. No, not at all. Tough one. And I know they're off a of back-to-back, -back, but still, it's geez. still, still a pretty good record. Everyone's yeah. healthy. It's early in the season. Is, yeah. is, is everyone healthy? Because Pierce, he tweaked a knee or something well, last night. Well, I mean, so. no, no major injuries like mm. the Garnett injury last oh, okay. year. Okay, yes, so. yes, yes, yes.